The following news segment is produced for MTN by the Western Ag Network. Now, here's your farm and ranch report from the Montana Ag Network. Hi everybody, it's time for your farm and ranch news. Well, the Antiquities Act is back in our ag headlines, and that's because the National Cattlemen's Beef Association has slammed President Biden's recent use of the Antiquities Act to put sweeping federal designations on over a million additional acres of land in Arizona, amounting to what NCBA says is yet another presidential land grab. Well, you know, the Antiquities Act, which dates back to 1906, was really useful. It has a place where you want to save tribal or cultural uh, things of specific nature, specific historical significance. These have basically turned into full-scale land grabs. And the worst part of that is there's absolutely no input from local economies, no analysis of, of uh, anything economic, uh, no input from stakeholders like public lands ranchers or natural resource managers. And it does not fool the rule of law and it doesn't follow the spirit of how this was originally developed. He explained what NCBA is doing to prevent further abuse of the Antiquities Act whether it be the Biden administration or future administrations of either political party. Of course, we're trying to work directly with the administration. That's not as very effective. We're also getting state uh, lawmakers uh, and their particular committees, resources, natural resources, those sort of energy committees to put, have some pushback and try to make also the rest of the general public that has hiking and biking and hunting and all those other activities aware this could limit their access and their ability to use those lands. Certainly, uh, uh, any of the agencies that over things see things like uh, fire protection and, and uh, the control of those fuels. And he said the unfortunate reality of designating new national monuments through the Antiquities Act is once the designation is made, it's tough to have it reversed. It's extremely difficult. You know, 80% of Arizona is already controlled by the feds. And anybody who has been stewarding this land, some for several generations, they're going to be locked out with no say. And some of the folks along the Utah border are going to be affected because they won't have access to their private lands either. And so basically, this is a land grab of uh, enormous proportions, uh, unwarranted and really not covered by the law. Now, the bottom line is the NCBA believes that this latest designation follows a concerning trend of Washington politicians trampling local communities, land managers, and of course, farmers and ranchers with the stroke of a pen. Stay with us, we'll have more Ag News right after this.